bring us a snap yeah, ring. Yeah, snap ring. Something didn't feel right yeah. there, so we're gonna we can figure that out. See if one of these two pliers gets in there. Luckily I have small snap rings here, I just don't have the big ones. There ain't no holes in there. Oh, this is a different style. Ooh, and it's a recess too on top of it. Mm hmm. Okay, where's my fancy new pliers at? Who? Fancy new pliers. These ones. Yeah, they got the titty in there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These are new ones. These ones aren't worn out yet. So I'm thinking that might be the trick we need to get in there. Let's see? Does that look like it might be the one? Yeah. There's a bearing in there. You want to swap it out? So why does it go sideways? I guess we're on with the whole gear sideways. Well, you remember we never straightened that shaft until it got to the bottom. Because that shaft was cocked. Yeah, but I thought it was, I thought that was after I was already in. But maybe it was still halfway up. I don't know. Whatever, it's there now, so. I don't know. I'll have to play back the video and watch it. Could have swore it moved. Might have been in my head, but. When you say things, I don't, I don't dispute them. I could have swore it was out of something. Did you hear a pop? Mm-hmm. That means it fell in. I'm assuming so. It's not going in anymore. Make sure it's engaged under the titties there. Looks like it's engaged under the titties to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Check the back side while you're at it. Yeah. So you're floating doesn't go anymore, so that's a good sign. It's solid. Yeah, my new pliers were good. That they do. <clears throat> the old ones are worn out. All right. Now we put shafts and legs in. So now we don't have to fight this mechanism like we did last no, time? No, not at all. A little easier now? A little easier now. I think this is all we're going to use, isn't it? Yep. You like silver. Well, the other one looked like it was burnt. Yeah, that's what you said. You like the silver one. Put it back in the drawer behind it. Oh no, we gotta, we gotta put the nuts on here for next. <clears throat> for some reason last time? Mm-hmm. Looks solid already. Oh, it's all solid already? So we got the anti-plugger. That's why I dumped half the bottle out. Because you have uh, the, got a bunch of crap in there. Right. It's half plugged, half not, and you couldn't control how much was coming out. Now we can, see. I'm not going to use red because I don't think it needs to be red. I don't think so either. But you put red the last time. That's why I know. <laughs> it made it really hard to get the nuts off. <clears throat> I figured that out. Yeah, and you're putting the nuts on that had red Loctite on. <laughs> it's really hard to get them nuts off. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to mix red and blue. That's fine. They didn't need to be on there that hard. No, I put, these are both blue. Yeah, but you're mixing my, uh, the old red, the old red with the new blue. The old red's not there no more. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, these are different shadows we have this year. <laughs> Tighten up. Okay, now we're going to engage our dogs. And if you want them to stay engaged, make sure gravity goes the direction you want to go. Mm -hmm. If you put them this way, they're going to fall out. Mm -hmm. You're going to get your fingers in there. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to tighten this one up here. Do not hold it right here. Because it'll hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's tight. Now you rotate backwards. The next one digs in. And the next one. Not much air we really got here because air pressure sucks, but it's better than me blowing it in the nozzle. Well, you got air. As it, it works better than well, it the all. broken one. Yeah, it works better than the broken one. Alright, put that back on there. Yeah. Crappy air is better than no air. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, so I know the short one goes on this side. I know the heavy offset one goes toward the door. Mm hmm. So that goes like that. We know it's going to have to engage in the hole over here, so we just move it around to get to the hole we want. Right there. And this one here, I we pretty much was the same, but I haven't, I haven't flipped it it's the same way it was. So it should be good. So we've got the groove right there in. I believe that groove is that one. Up. That should be in a groove right now. Mm -hmm. Fork in there. Not too far. That was all the way down this time. Maybe the angles are off or something's wrong. It's going to maybe help us a little bit. There it is right there. So if gravity helps you, you might as well use it. It's always best not to fight Mother Nature. You're going to lose. Okay, I'm starting to go in. Make sure it's in there where it belongs. So there's a lot of false grooves in there, so... Mm -hmm. Appears to be in the right one. That's not blue Loctite under that tip there. No, that's blue lubricant. <laughs> it's blue number three dye for some mm -hmm. reason. Okay, now we're just going to tap this down and I'm not sure what it's going to take to make that go in there. I'm not even sure if it is in there all the way. It's in there. Think that's in there already? Mm-hmm. Doesn't appear to want to go any deeper. Mm-hmm. For some reason, the, the clearance on that shaft, once the whole, once, once you start beating on this transmission, they start to wave wobble. So. Yeah. I gotta get a dimension so I know if it's in or not all the way, but I really don't know. It probably is, because it's gonna be support out here, and just still has to go up, so. Probably is all the way in. Oh, I didn't bring one, oh, I didn't bring another transmission with that leg on it, huh? Yeah, so now I'm gonna put this one in here. Slip it around until we find the right groove to be in. Mm -hmm. and I guess that's the upper one up here. Solid now. Solid, yeah. You can see I moved kind of sides around until it went in. Mm -hmm. that, one's in. that one's in. Okay, so let's see it's in there. Ah, oh, damn it. I meant to bring you that damn case. Now we're, we're in neutral right now. Because we could have put the whole transmission together. Okay, we're in neutral right now. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go and run it through the gears. Okay, which way? I'm assuming that way is right here. Yep. As well. Neutral. Second. So which one's second? This one over here. That's second. The way over here. Should be from low to second. That's nice. 
So this one will change next. Nope. How can that not move? Not all the way around yet. They move so little they didn't even see it. Use and gauge now. Which one's a oh, third's the middle one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's our gear right here. Fourth is gonna be somewhere else. Fourth. Up. So the little small gear that was bad is <clears throat> fourth. Mm-hmm. Pop in all the way. Then it obviously fits is this side over here. What happened here? You did the right way. Yeah, you went the wrong way. It went down. That should be fifth. And then I'm assuming the long gear is sixth. The gear in the case oh, is six. This. I'm thinking of five. Yeah, we we have six speeds here, Tetro. Oh, this is a, oh, there's extra gears. Yeah, that gear that's in the case. Okay, so that's fifth. Okay, so where's fifth? That's fifth. So the fifth is direct drive off of these two. That's a direct. But those gears are those aren't the same size, so it can't be direct drive. I don't know how it gets. It's got to be going through two gears or something to get it in the fifth. I thought fifth was direct. Mm. Can't be direct because they're not equal. Direct means they're equal. Right. Mm -hmm. These two look really cool, but that's third. So, <laughs> so even fifth gear is going through gear sets, I guess. This one will work. So it's going through here, here, here. Oh, that's because the case has a gear on it. Yeah, you're going through gears. Still not direct. Don't mm -mm. Man, you still got to go through another gear set. So the disc gear and the under gear are probably the same size. These two here, are just, you know, they're going to be, it's going to be a one to one by the time you add these two gears together. They're going to cancel each other out. Mm -hmm. and that'll make a direct drive, but it's not really direct drive. All the other trainings, direct drive means you dog high gear together, boom, it's direct. Mm -hmm. So this one is six gears direct. Because that's six gears where it draws all the way up. See, that direct drive. So now you're driving this dog in the high gear. Mm. So six gears direct drive on this train. Go back down. Go back to fifth. There's your movement there. You're in fifth. Going down. What? Which way? Did I, which way did I go? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We got extra gears in there we don't have. So you got six, seven, eighth, ninth. <laughs> got nine gears. Baker, seven, seven, seven speed. Well, it's got all the dogs there. Right. So this is direct drive here. So six is not an overdrive. It's direct drive, but you're going through the primary drive because they put that big sprocket in the front mm -hmm. to make it that way. And the five speed with a six speed gear in it. Six is an overdriven one, so they dog in hot fifth gears direct. Six goes through the gear set. This one, fifth gear is going through the gear set here. Right. So they're just different. Okay, what gear do you want to be in? Mm -hmm. Which gear do you want to be in for mock up? Put it in, um, yeah, you can leave it in. Put it in first, second, one or two. Where's it not going? Because one of the dogs probably lined up somewhere. There it is. Neutral. Okay, so they're all working. So they go back and forth kind of what these things are. So you got low gear, second gear, third gear. Where was fourth? Fourth is up. Straight up. That was fourth. So this fourth. is fourth. Yeah. I thought that was where second was. Where no was second? That's low. Okay, low second. Mm. So 
this is second scale. Low second, third, fourth, fifth. So they do go in order. Okay. I didn't think they went, I thought they went back and forth. Okay, so they go one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll interact. Okay, so they do go in order. See, so sports is doing backwards on their four speeds. They go low, second, third, fourth. Mm. The four speed big twins, they go in order like this one, two, three, four. And then five, fifth gear, five speed, I'm not sure how they do it. They kind of mix them up a little bit. So. So six is going over. All right. right. So there you go. That one's all good to go. So is it going to last more than a week this time? Yeah. Okay, two weeks. Give or take. Give or take two weeks. Okay. Well, the transmission I said in the bike has lasted longer than two weeks. It made it to Arizona and back. Well, you were on the freeway the whole time. That's why it didn't break. <laughs> you weren't in town. <laughs> it made it through Arizona. Yeah. All so. Right. All, all right. right. So I think we got a couple more tricks there. We figured out how to do stuff. You know what? Just pull the four, uh, don't pull the drum out, pull the shells. Assemble this upside down to keep it assembled. Still put the grease on it though. Mm -hmm. And then go back and forth between in and out. But yeah, we're getting. So maybe the next time, the fifth, fourth, sixth time, whatever time, I'll figure out a better way of doing it. Yeah. We're working it out. There you go.